Hey, Warren Eckstein here. Interesting letter coming from one of my listeners. Kind of a question at the same time. It's a little bit long, so let me kind of share it with you. Uh, Warren, my husband passed away a while back, and my dog is still grieving. I take him to the off-leash park, and she plays. She plays at home. However, on, the, uh, on her off time, she sits on the side of the couch and watches the door for him to come home. She also doesn't want to go into the back office. She'll go once in a while and turn around and sniff and come right back out. Uh, I take her to the car in the car. I take her to the pharmacy. I take her to the park. I take her everywhere. Uh, what can I do? Um, God, I really would appreciate it if uh, you would help me out with this scenario uh, for her four-legged baby. I can tell this woman loves her dog right off the bat. So there's a lot of things she can do. First of all, grieving is a very, a very personal thing. Every human being, every animal grieves at a different rate. Now it's been quite a while, months since uh, your husband passed away, and my condolences go to you, obviously. Uh, but there are things you can do, and you're doing a lot of it. Uh, distraction therapy is critical when a dog is going through a grieving process. Uh, if you find the dog going into your husband's area and not reacting the right way, try to make that a, a positive place. Maybe some new toys in there for the dog. Maybe some treats in there for the dog. Maybe you can be in there and call the dog to you or have someone else the dog loves in that room as well. Uh, the distraction therapy is the way to go, but if you're asking me specifically, are there any other things you can do, you're pretty much doing it all. Letting the dog grieve is critical, but also at the same time, and this may sound eccentric to some people, and you know me, I would never sound eccentric, but what I often advocate is that people spend time actually having a conversation with the dog. Cry together, laugh together, talk about old times. I know what it sounds like to a lot of people out there. Come on, Warren, you're nuts. Well, take it from me. It makes all the difference in the world. So you're doing pretty much what you can do. You're distracting the dog a little bit. Follow my advice in terms of encouraging him to go into the other room on a positive note. Let him grieve though. It's okay. He will get over it. I promise. And the most important thing is for you to stay positive. You might hide from me your grieving. You might hide from your best friend your grieving, but you're not going to hide it from your dog. So try to mellow out a little bit. I know you got to grieve as well, but sometimes just sit there and maybe watch a comedy together. Talk to your dog. Just get that grieving off your head because that grieving goes from one end of the leash to the other. Give him some time. And I promise you in no time at all, in no time at all, I can say that, but given some time, he will come around. And give him a hug and a kiss for me. And remember that every living thing goes through a grieving period most of the time. Most of the time, if you follow the advice I just gave you and some of the things that you're doing already, uh, they will get over it and, and give him a big hug and a kiss for me as well.